انما فشل العدو في تحقيقه في ميدان القتال لن يحققه على طاوله المفاوضات اننا لن نسمح بان يكون مسار المفاوضات مفتوحا بلا افق مع استمرار العدوان وحرب التجويع ضد شعبنا Israel and Jerusalem again it could be very very dangerous so we're looking we're trying hard for that ceasefire and the mutual Israel tamid ayta wa tamid tiya lishmor al khofesh al pulkhan lkhol adatot kakh nahagnu kamovan gam be khag ramadan wa kakh nira gam akhshav anahu nase akol kedi lishmor al khofesh al pulkhan be har abayit toh kedi shmira matima shel tsorkhe al bitakhon wa al bitikhut wa nafsher la tsibur al muslimi lkhog et akhag It's in the hands of Hamas right now. The, uh, the Israelis have been cooperating. There's an offer out there that's rational. We don't know what we'll know in a couple days if it's going to happen. But we need the ceasefire. I'm working with them very hard. We're going to get more. We must get more aid in the Gaza. There's no excuses. None. وإن أمن وسلامة شعبنا لن تتحقق إلا بوقف دائم لإطلاق النار وانتهاء العدوان والانسحاب من كل شبر من قطاع غزة وأن توفير المأوى العاجل والمناسب وإدخال المساعدات لأهلنا وشعبنا في غزة هو أولويتنا القصوى وأن أي عملية تبادل للأسرى لا يمكن أن تتم قبل أن يتحقق كل ذلك We gathered here today to call upon Ambassador Liu, Secretary of State Blinken, and President Biden to call upon them to act as the adult in the room and to make sure the deal that is on the table is being consumed. We have a deal that is very close to happen, but we need someone to be the adult in the room. A deal is the only sane option. Everybody knows about it. We got to make the deal. We got to move forward. That's the only option. And the U.S. as the world leader, we're asking President Biden, you're sure that your heart is in the right place. Please step in. Don't be afraid to apply pressure. The families of the hostages are fully behind you. And humanitarian aid is important, but let's keep the eyes on the ball. The deal is everything right now. Everything is on the table in the next 10 days. We're either going to go to a, a military operation in Rafa. Nobody wants even to think about it. What we've seen happen in North Angada is nothing compared to what's going to happen over there.
yaklaşmakta olan Ramazan ayı bağlamında provokasyonların önlenmesi gereğine ilişkin mesajlarımızı ilgili yerlere iletiyoruz. Radikal İsrailli siyasetçilerin Müslümanların haremi şerife girişinin kısıtlanması yönündeki talepleri tam anlamıyla bir hezeyandır. Sözde yerleşimciler adı verilen, aslında Filistinlilere ait topraklara çöken, çalan gaspçıların eylemleri çözümün önündeki en büyük engellerden biridir. Müzik